Sorry about that. So now, now I've got that camera turned on and we can actually use it. But we have our physical part of the body and the physical part lets us do activities. You know, we and this is where the martial arts stuff will come in. I'm not a big sports fan and I really don't like organized sports. I know that there are some benefits to sports such as, you know, health benefits but it's debatable with some sports because like people get injured and and they have like I have relatives that have lifelong injuries from sporting accidents that they had when they were kids in high school um, but then there are also negative aspects like the way that some of the teams pressure kids and things like that I just not a big fan of organized sports however I do like martial arts a lot and what's weird is you know I am a Christian and a lot of people watching you may not be maybe you're more drawn to something else um, maybe in the course of these videos you'll give uh, Christianity a chance but the point of the fact is there are things that I disagree with from a theological standpoint about certain types of martial arts but I have found that other martial arts tend to be you know not quite that way and what an argument that I hear from other Christians is well Eastern martial arts have a or martial arts uh, it has a lot to do with Eastern mysticism but what they're missing is there are European martial arts there are martial arts that you know go back to the ancient uh, Jewish traditions that King David used I mean there are martial arts all over the world because we live in a violent world and people have had to use violence but what's nice about martial arts is not only does it teach you how to defend yourself, it also teaches you how to move and how to ba be balanced and how to not be a klutz, which God knows I need. And um, so those are some th really important things about it. And I have found I really like, lately I've done, I've practiced a lot of martial arts in my life, but I've recently been looking at Arnis and, and, or Screma, they call it. Sometimes they call it Kali. And it's a Filipino martial art that is kind of a mix of indigenous um, martial arts with all of the different cultures that have taken over the Philippines over the years. So there's Chinese, there's Spanish, and even some American techniques from the military. There's all sorts of interesting stuff in modern artists so I like it it's a pretty neat martial art and I haven't really taken you know formal artist classes but I have been watching like I said earlier vampires videos and some other people's um, videos about how to how to do um, the Eskrima sticks and stuff and it's been really a good thing that I've added to my workout in the morning and it's been helping me lose weight so that's a good part of it. So that brings up two topics. We've got weight loss, which is something we could discuss in some of our videos. We've got, um, you know, the whole Eskrima thing, or maybe I should make a more generic martial arts and then make Eskrima come off of that. Now here's where it becomes artistic and you want when you're making a mind map you want to try to add artistic elements because it gets your mind thinking in a new direction. Well if I've got a screma here maybe I want to draw some rattan screma sticks coming off of the screma fist. Maybe that's maybe this is like a fist holding a stick you know maybe maybe he hasn't started his exercise yet so he's got both of his sticks in his hand and we've got that and so I could do a whole series of stuff that I'm learning about Eskrima and I would draw that off of the uh, this picture of the Eskrima sticks over here weight loss right now one of the things that I'm working on is I'm working on intermittent inter Mittent fasting, so right now it's 9.52 and I have to go until 10.30 before I can eat again because I'm trying to lose weight 
And so that's one technique that I'm using. And uh, another technique that I'm using is called the military diet. And I am actually on day three of the military diet for my second round. The first time through, I lost, I think, five pounds. And the second time through, I've added a lot of exercise, but I've also um, not really been... This last weekend, I didn't get to follow it as well as I wanted to. And so I kind of gained a couple of those pounds back. But this week, I'm going to get back on track. And my goal is by the end of the year, I'm not setting short-term goals with weight loss. I'm setting long-term goals. And so at the beginning of the year of last year, I decided I was going to lose weight for the year. So over the course of last year, I lost, and I'm ashamed to say it, in my time of depression or whatever, I gained a lot of weight. I went up to 274 pounds. And over the course of last year, I got down to about 160 or 260. Um, now, uh, over the course of this year, I'm in April, I've been able to lose um, another 10 pounds. I got down to 250, and now I'm working towards getting closer to the 240 range. So I'm getting the weight back off, and I want to get back down to at least 200, which is what I, my kind of my fighting weight when I was really doing a lot of martial arts. Um, or 195 is a pretty, that's what I weighed when I got married. I'd like to get back down to that because it's a pretty good weight for me. Um, so anyway, um, there's, that's what I'm doing with the weight loss portion of this, of this project. So now we've kind of covered a couple of the physical things. Let's move over onto the artistic side and I'll show you how I would make a mind map on that area. 